Yeah, I wanted to check on you, because I have some great news. Which means, of course, I was worried that something bad might happen to you. But, uh, everything's okay? You're okay? The baby's okay? Your fiancé's okay? Everything's all right? Okay. And nothing weird happened yesterday? Good? Bad? Otherwise? Well, that's good. Yeah, I just got home from work. I have so much to tell you, and I just didn't have a chance after I got back last night, and then I had so many things to do today, you'll never believe it. Oh, it went so great. Uh, I haven't been on that many job interviews in my life, honestly, so I don't really have much to compare it to, but I think it went really well. They already asked me back for another one on Friday. Yeah, actually, it practically sounded like a done deal, so I'm um, putting some things in motion. Well, yeah, you didn't answer, but that's why I was calling you yesterday. It went so well, I was really nervous the whole time because I was thinking about what might be happening to you. <sighs> well, good. I'm glad you had a good day. Huh. I guess this thing, it's not 100% of the time, huh? Yeah, it was. I mean, I think I was probably embarrassing like I usually am, but I don't know. I think it went really well. And this, uh, Carol who was in charge, she seemed really nice. She's a little intimidating, but I think she liked me. She said we had a lot in common. That was, uh, that was kind of hard to believe. If you saw her, you would never think she and I. <laughs> yeah, but, um, um, there's something I gotta tell you. So... If I get this job, I'm going to have to go right away to this fancy training program they got. Yeah, but they're going to put me up in a nice apartment in the city so I don't have to commute. And then, um, after that, um, <clears throat> um, here's the thing. You know how I was going to travel. Oh, no, it's actually even better than that. Well, I don't know if that is the right word, but it's definitely more exciting. I, I might be moving. Well, not might be, probably will be. <laughs> yeah, so there's like a second phase to this training thing where they gotta send me to the main offices in London. And they said if it's a good fit, maybe I'll stay there. I know, it's a big change. Um... I already made an appointment with a realtor and stuff to have the house appraised. Well, no, I'm not counting my chickens or anything. I just want to be ready. You know how I like to plan. So, what do you think? About me moving to England? Well, I'm asking because we're friends, aren't we? And I kind of thought that maybe you might have an opinion, because I'm not really sure myself. I mean, I speak the language at least, which I hadn't quite figured out for that Paris trip. <laughs> yeah, so, do you think I should do it? Uh, they were a little vague about that, honestly, but it's because it's kind of a data security company. They gotta be very careful about who they tell things to, I guess. I kinda like that. I could use a little more security myself. I wouldn't mind learning a few things. But, uh, no. I'd basically be an office manager like I am now, just in a bigger and better office with a nicer life. No, I haven't made up my mind. That's why I'm asking you. Because the other thing is... With everything we figured out about you and me, I mean, don't you kind of think I should stick around so we can understand this better? If I leave, we're really going to have to make an effort to keep track of everything that's going on with us, and I don't want to let Aspen down. She seemed so excited to get our testimonials, and I don't know, it felt kind of good to be special. Well, yeah, I was terrified up on the stage in that big classroom, but still, nobody ever cared that much about what I had to say before. Even us. Speaking of Aspen, have you heard from her lately? No. 
No way. She did? Oh my god, really? That's great. I bet she loved that. What was it this time? Was it like the baby monitor again? Well, that's, uh... I guess that works, huh? Siri, Alexa, why not Dinah, huh? So, what did she find out? Hmm, I guess that's smart. Not saying too much over the phone with all the weird gray uniform people. Oh my god. So when's she coming over to give you the rest of the details? Oh, shit. Oh, that's the same day as my interview. It would have been nice to hear what she had to say about the whole thing, but you'll catch me up after, right? Thanks. She really didn't tell you anything? Wait, there's another one? Oh my god. Oh, really? That's so sad. Is there anything we can do? Can we look for him or something? I don't know. I think you and I are a magnet for this stuff now, huh? Maybe if we just keep poking around, we'll find a brother. Okay, well, I'll let you and Aspen figure out what the next thing is. As for me, it looks like my time solving mysteries and getting chased by people in gray jackets might be coming to an end soon. I can't say that I mind. No, I haven't seen any of them since the... <laughs> yeah, never mind. I don't want to talk about that. I just want to get out of this town. No, I just meant <laughs> it's worth it for me to try something. If it gets me moving and out of the swing of things and, well... <laughs> I think if I was going to meet the right person here, I would have already. I dated everybody I could, and it doesn't seem like anybody took. I don't know. Maybe the right person's not even an American. Is that possible? I guess we're finding out all kinds of things are possible we didn't think were possible before. We got little people talking to us through baby monitors and stuff, and there's definitely something going on with this connection we got. But you don't think I should stick around, huh? so we can keep working it out. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it is a little unnerving seeing each other's lives happen all the time, wondering when the other shoe's gonna drop, but... Okay, well, <laughs> I didn't realize you felt that way all this time. How long were you saving that one up? Sorry, I... No, I'm all right. I got my interview, a brand new job, a fancy downtown apartment, maybe even London. Yeah, I decided. Apparently, if my neighbors don't even want me around anymore, then... <laughs> Well, you didn't exactly hesitate either. It's okay. I can take a hint. No, we're all right, I guess. Wish me luck. Thanks. And you'll still give me all the dirt after you talk to Aspen, right? Okay. Bye. Oh, hi there. Look who's here. <laughs> Aren't you cute? Uh, no, I had no trouble finding it. So, that's Randy's place right over there, across the street. Cute. She's what? Since when? Well, you'll have to tell me all about that. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for having me over. I still can't believe it.
No, I'm all right. I don't need anything. You got a nice place here. When would you move in? Hmm. No, I just think it's interesting that it only took Randy two years to notice that something was going on. Can I ask, in all that time, did you never notice anything on your own? Anything about her? No, no, I wouldn't expect you to, but it's just... You two really are the first confirmed pair of folks with the benefit equilibrium. I'm just trying to understand, that's all. <laughs> Anyhow. Sure, I'll take the kid. Hand him over. Especially if it gives you a little break. There we are. All right. Hey, you. So, I was so excited on the phone, I forgot what I already told you. Where'd I leave off? Oh, yeah. So this board she keeps talking about. Yeah, I definitely think it's the same folks in gray, but what I don't know is what I'm looking for when I go there, or how I'm even supposed to get in. She did give me an address. I looked it up. It's just an office building. Nothing special. Well, I was just going to wing it. I'm pretty good at shooting my mouth off most of the time, <laughs> wouldn't you say? I was just going to go and dig around a little bit. We just need to make sure we pool all our information before I do. No, you shouldn't go in. You got this little one here. I don't want you getting any closer to this than you already have been. But I've got nothing to lose and only my reputation to gain, so I'm doing it. Well... If Randy's right, I don't think calling the police is going to help us any, so might as well give it a try. And, you know, I just don't get the sense that they're that dangerous. Wait, what? When? I didn't know about that. Is she all right? Tell me she called the police after that. What? Well, that's just fucked up. I can't believe they wouldn't investigate a home invasion. So they're good at covering their tracks. Hmm. Well, so am I. Sure, I know I look like an academic now, but my daddy didn't raise me to be some stuffed shirt in an ivory tower. You want to know things, you got to get your hands dirty. Well, what do you think we've been doing in Woodhull? Just sitting around talking? No. No. Of course not. I've been all over trying to track down someone like Dinah. People like you and Randy. Till my funds dried up. And here you were this whole time. Kind of strange now that I think about it. Well, no. My plan is, I'll go in broad daylight. I'll let you and the whole group know where I am, and I'll make sure this demystification board knows that too. Make it really obvious I got people looking out for me. What are they going to try, honestly? Well, she did sound pretty scared about what might have happened to her brother. She was saying, normally she can check in with him in a matter of seconds when she wants to, and... While we were talking, she just couldn't, couldn't find him, I guess. I have no idea where she'd be looking, but, I mean, she's a spirit. So, I surmise things work differently for them. They're not restricted by space. Time, maybe. But I'll bet she can be anywhere she wants to be otherwise. So, yeah, it was a little unnerving that she couldn't find her own brother. Now, the one I gotta look out for, it sounds like, is this Carol person. She seems to be in charge of the whole thing. 
What? That's the name Dinah said. Why? Oh, oh, oh okay. See, seems like the kid wants you back again. Here. What's the matter? Uh, Carol, I'm pretty sure. Give me a second. Um, yeah. Uh, Carol West. Dinah said she's at the head of the organization, at least locally. Damn, if it wasn't like pulling teeth getting information out of her. Albeit she doesn't have any teeth, but you know. Why? You did? Do you remember where you heard it? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> but there's plenty of people named Carol, right? That could just be a coincidence. What's this company Randy's interviewing with? Did you get a name? Shit. No. You're alright, but I don't like this. I don't like it at all. When's her interview? Fuck. Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, yeah. Why don't you go ahead and give her a call? Is that what I think it was? We're sorry. You have reached okay. the number that has been disconnected uh, or is no longer in service. No. Uh, text her. Tell her it's urgent. And try calling her again. Keep trying. 